So full disclosure, I have actually made a video on Liquid Crystal before, but I just wanted to talk about Pokemon ROM hacks all over again. Now, some people might be asking what is a Pokemon ROM hack, and so back in the early days of the internet, you could go on certain websites where you could download uh, for like Game Boy emulators a Pokemon ROM that was a fan-made version of a Pokemon game. That's pretty much it. And my absolute favorite one that was Pokemon Liquid Crystal. So this ROM hack used the uh, Pokemon Fire Red engine or Fire Red Leaf Green engines. And it was a complete remake of Pokemon Crystal for the Game Boy Color. And honestly, it is so good. It is the exact remake of the first one, just using sort of the Game Boy Advance color, like era of um, of Pokemon games. But it adds so much more. It's still got the same story as Pokemon Crystal, but it adds like the Orange Islands and loads of other things as well. Like it has the the um, the special sort of like special physical split as well into the game mechanics, and it was just so fun. Now, unlike sort of Ruby Sapphire and fire and leaf green they did actually also include a day and night cycle like the original game had another thing that they added to the game was sort of um, real seasons which we didn't really see until sort of black and white where there is actually like seasonal change and weather effects including snow rain and bright sun everything like that that you got from the other games but just more that's all i can really say it's just more of it now i was incredibly lucky and i found a website which i cannot quite remember where it was but i found a website where someone would put this uh this rom hack onto a physical cartridge for me uh, so I've actually got a physical copy of this game, which I think is really cool and is an interesting, unique Pokemon collectible thing that other people don't seem to have. And uh, I mean, probably other people do have it, but I have never, none of my friends have it. So that's a one up on my Pokemon collection compared to everyone else. But just going back to talking about ROM hacks in general, there were some absolutely incredible ROM hacks and the community is still going pretty strong. It's kind of died off a little bit since the game's moved over to Switch, but they still bring out new um, ROM hacks for the old generation of Pokemon games. So if you're a fan of like the Game Boy Advance era, which is my personal favorite era of Pokemon games, then you can find extra Game Boy Advance Pokemon games. Yeah, they're not official, but they're still really good and are arguably made with as much love and care as the actual creators of Pokemon. Some of my absolute favourite ones, and then I'm going to actually butcher this name because no one actually says it out loud, but Pokemon Quetzal? 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 I can't say it. I don't know how to say it. But that game's really good. If you want to experience like a modern Pokemon games with like Mega Evolutions and everything like that, then um, but on a Game Boy Advance, absolutely, because that uses the uh, Fire Red engine and so you can just find these things and you can just use them now i can't for definitely tell you where the best place to download roms are because I, I, it, you can google it i like you can just google that i'm not gonna tell you that you can just google the name of any pokemon rom hack and you will get a thing and it's up to you then to decide which websites you want to trust because there's always the the chance that you're going to download some sort of virus because i have done that many times i come from the limewire era of the internet so just be careful i'm not going to make any recommendations in, in case i absolutely destroy everyone's computers another really fun pokemon wrong hat is pokemon unbound which is a fire red like a fire red rom hack a lot of people seem to use the fire red and leaf green engine i think it's because it was just easier to to make mods roms from but in pokemon unbound you can catch anything from pokemon generations one to eight but it's on your game boy advance incredible what more do you want if you don't like the newer generations if you like the idea of the new generations just go get a rom hack it's great and if i'm completely honest i can't really think of many other sort of gaming communities that make these rom hacks with so much love and so much attention i know that mega man has a massive like rom hack community or fan base community fan made games but i've never been a i've just never really played a mega man game i guess uh but pokemon for me just has this massive community of people that want to make their own pokemon games and they want to they want to do a better version and what game freak can do and what nintendo can do and sometimes they just do they get it right and they manage to do it and sometimes just playing one of these you would be shocked genuinely shocked 
that some of these games are not official titles. The writing can be that good on them, like seriously. Go for it, try it. But yeah, that's what I just wanted to talk about is Pokemon ROM hacks. Let me know in the comments below if you ever played a Pokemon ROM hack, if you recommend a Pokemon ROM hack, what your favorite Pokemon ROM hack is, and if you agree or disagree with anything I've said in this video, comment below, let me know, and we'll, yeah, I'm happy to start a discussion about Pokemon ROM hacks. Always happy to talk about Pokemon, so let me know in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. It does help me massively. I would massively appreciate it. So please, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.